All right, so continuing on this series of um, staffs, walking sticks and staffs, uh, we're going to uh, attach, or I'm going to show you how I attach noisemakers to my staff. Uh, here is um, the one that I have attached onto my daughter's walking stick and we just have these bells that are attached to it like so okay i'm just going to show you how i attach these and the the along along with the lanyard and this lanyard is made of dog bane fibers uh and um you know it could be anything it could be paracord or uh, any kind of uh, natural fiber or just cordage to keep your uh, staff attached to you but um in this video we're going to focus on attaching these noisemakers now the thing with the the noise noisemaker is like i said uh for those people that you know hike and bear and puma and cougar areas uh country um you need to let these animals know that you're coming otherwise if you startle these animals um you can run into an issue especially if you're uh walking or stalking uh either on purpose or accidentally in the wo woods, meaning you're not being heard and you're downwind and they can't smell you and they don't hear you or see you coming. And it can, it can cause you some issues. Um, and in an urban setting, in some of the uh, off trail areas, you know, if you're foraging or searching for mushrooms or just walking from one side to the other and you decide to just walk through the bush to see what's there, um, you want to let people know that you're coming, you know, you know, joggers and hikers and other people might be there. And if you spook somebody, uh, dare I say in today's day and age, you could run into some issues. People tend to, uh, perception is reality as they say, right? So, you know, you, you if you surprise somebody, it, it could end in, it could end not end in a good way. Let's just put it that way. But if you're walking through and you have your walking stick um, or a noisemaker, maybe you just got it attached to your lapel or your person or your ankle or your wrist. It doesn't you know the concept is the same. But you know what I'm talking about is just attaching to uh, your walking stick and making this more of a, a tool that you have with you. Um, that has pretty much as its own self-containing uh, survival uh, apparatus. All right. So I'm going to show you how um, I attach it. Now, what I have here is um, these are bells that I purchased from Michaels. You know, you can get these from the craft store. And but if any, if you want something more natural, um, I have a rattle that I made out of a deer cannon bone here. I uh, wrapped it with buckskin and you know just kind of decorated it with a lanyard as well and then I attached it uh, with uh, buckskin and these are deer hooves and this makes makes a racket it's a rattle you know and I've also attached some some bells to it as well and there's some wood beads in here as well um, to to help uh, make noise so you you could do this you know any sort of you know shells beads hooves teeth uh anything that's going to make a noise is the concept right if you want to go completely uh primitive or, or natural or aboriginal if you will um i'm going to focus on kind of the bells this t this this time around um but this is just to kind of keep in in uh consistency with you know the the, the flavor of of, of what I'm into so you can always do something natural like this okay so I have my staff here that I actually need to uh, re bell I've got one bell uh, left it makes a little bit of noise I like to be a little bit noisier when I'm out and about in the, in the bush right um, so I'm gonna kind of show you how this is configured okay uh, by the way I have a other another video uh, in regards to how to do this type of um, wrapping and uh, uh, I'm using 550 paracord and uh, this is a good idea I think uh, to have 
some cordage on hand and also what helps you grip your staff as well so I'm check that video out so at any rate the way that this is configured and I'm going to try to position this in a way where because it's pretty long staff to where this is going to work out and every you, you can see so what we have here is what we have here is I've I've carved a groove into my staff okay like so so this is how it sits I created a seat because conceptually I don't like tying permanent knots into uh, my cordage I don't like cutting it I don't like tying knots and you know that you can't undo uh, so you know yes you, you're gonna have to be able to do that from time to time as a tie a permanent knot yes you're gonna have to cut your cordage but if you can avoid it then you know either one of those scenarios of cutting or, or, or knotting um, I, I, I would um, just so that you always have a nice long length of cordage at any rate this is a, a piece of uh, dog bane fibers that I twisted into a lanyard and a lanyard is just allows me to hold on to uh, my pole and I just put it around my wrist and even if I set the pole, the, my, 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 my staff or stick down, uh, it can just rest and I can still have access to it. It doesn't slide or get away from me, if you will. Because what can happen is you can set your, your staff down on the side of the trail or whatever and it can roll away from you or you can get distracted or whatever and all of a sudden against the backdrop you can't find your stick the configuration that I have uh, now is this dog bane cordage that I've wrapped around my wrist um, and uh, I've got a loop here and I tied an overhand knot in the loop that you can see here uh, so that it stays around my, my wrist um, I could work this out if I really needed this length of cordage and I've got it's doubled over so here is the end loop right here and then all I'm doing is is uh, looping uh, some buckskin cordage around this cordage all right and then on the end of this I've tied some bells which is the bells that I've just shown. So this is the configuration. And so what I do is then I just take this end loop here and I feed this running end here and I put it through the loop, which goes around the stick. All right, and so this is what we end up having, okay? And it allows me easy access it allows me the ability to be able to change it out so you know when 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 I lose bells or, or, or whatnot so you know I, I this course kind of configuration I, I like um, for ease of access but it still works it's still sturdy so cutting this groove in is, is kind of a the key component of it or at least leaving the bark on you know many people when they have walking sticks they want to peel the bark off and that's cool you know I get it you know I, there, there's there's reason behind it because of bugs and and um, the aging of the, of the stick and stuff and such like that but this particular stick uh, this particular wood you know work has been it's been shoot I, it's probably the about four or five years now and it's just fine so anyways um <clears throat> Let's get on to tying on uh, a bell, right? All right, so I have my configuration here. I'm gonna move this out of the way so we can see. And so this is my lanyard configuration. Okay, so I wanna tie on one of my new bells onto my uh, cordage, onto my lanyard. And all I'm doing, all this is, is just a length of cordage. In this case, it's a buckskin strip uh, that I just double over, and we just loop loop over uh, 
our uh, main lanyard. Um, the, the knot is escaping me right now. I think it's a cat's, a cat's paw, I think it's called. Um, so I'm going to put some bigger bells on. These are fresh from Michael's. Um, this, these size, this size is 18 millimeters and this size is 12, mil, uh, 12 millimeters. Um, it doesn't really matter as long as it makes noise like I explained before. Um, but you know, any, any sort of hobby shop should have such things, right? And you can get a bunch of them uh, for different projects. So I'm gonna tie on some bigger ones. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this pack right quick and um, grab a couple of these bells here. Uh, grab two because we have two ends. Okay, so there's my two bells here. I'll put them right there. And then what I have here is I have my length of uh, buckskin or cordage or whatever. And here's my lanyard. So what I want to do is I'm going to get this in frame for you. I'm going to just loop this over. I'm going to reach through the loop, if you can see and grab the loose end. And then I'm gonna pull the loose end through. Right? That's all it takes, that's all it is. And I can cinch it tight. So it's attached to my lanyard like this, okay? Uh, I'm gonna do it one more time um, just to make sure that, that um, y'all get it. Um, so take your length of cordage put a bite in it as they call it b-i-g-h-t bite um, and then you're going to just uh, make a loop and then you're going to take your loose ends and put it through oops a daisy I lost it excuse me and through and you just put it through the loose ends real quick easy simple quick and dirty um, and I like quick and dirty um, in most things um, and then we can just pull it tight so this is these are attached to the standing or in with the standing line of the lanyard and this is a close-up of what this looks like Okay, so these are just looped through. All right, that's all that is, real easy. So now, all you gotta do is, these types of bells come with uh, a way to attach them, right? So these little loop loops here, just put this through. And then, for my purposes, I just put a uh, overhand or a double overhand knot in it and that usually works okay. so now that's cinched in there see right and then so since I have two ends I can take another end and do that to this one and do the same thing and just put I'm going to do a double overhand knot um, search my channel for the double over overhand knot or the single overhand knot basically these are what they call stopper knots and for this reason the stoppers All right so that's there's that and then I'm going to I'm going to vary it up a little bit and let's see here. I'm gonna put one of the smaller ones, these 12 millimeter ones on there. Just so, just, just for variation. But you get the idea at this point. So, I'm, 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 everything else is extraneous commentary. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna attach this. This size, all I need is one overhead knot, and this ain't. This ain't going nowhere. Right? So I've already got some uh, got some noise going on here. I'll do another one of the uh, smaller. 
make sure I'm in frame here. There we go. Sorry. And uh, put that there. Put an overhand knot in that. And then there's that. And then we got these uh, smaller strands. I'm just going to fill them up. And I'm going to put my bigger one in there. Put a do double overhand knot in that so it doesn't slip off. Free strand which is left here and I think we'll do a small one and we'll fit this through but sometimes in buckskin if it doesn't work it can kind of moisten it down and shape and shape it and then uh, we'll push that right through and I'm gonna just put an overhand knot over overhand knot in here and uh, we should call it we should be able to call it a day and there it is. So then now I've got a fully loaded noisemaker string of noisemakers. Here. And this is this is how it works. This is how it looks. Um, and this is just my method of doing it. I'm sure you'll come up with your own. But just to get some ideas or get some creative juices flowing. And these are attached around a lanyard of uh, dog bane fibers uh, that I twisted and then I've already uh, carved a groove around my uh, walking stick and so all I have to do now is run this around and then put this end uh, through the loop right there's a loop here that loop right there I just put this through And then this will sit, and I can just cinch it forward. And then now these are attached onto my pole. So I've, I've, I've got a fully loaded uh, uh, noise maker for hiking. Okay. So I just uh, wanted to share that. Probably, eh, it's probably a lot of information. Oh, we got we got a loose one here. Oops. Let's add this. And see, I can already have this attached to uh, my walking stick, and. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just attach another one. Go ahead and make sure that that is so fit through the, the loop there. And then I will go around, make an overhand mat so it doesn't come off. And there we go. So there's my, my noise maker here. So that should let people know, and animals know, that I'm in the vicinity if I'm out in the bush walking around so I don't surprise anybody.